Welcome to Mr. Nussbaum's Graph Master. This is a very powerful program for students to use, reinforcing all sorts of graphing skills, including introductions to bar graphs, pie charts, and line graphs on the same page. You can also enable questions so that the program asks multiple choice questions based on the data inputted. First step is what question are you asking? I'm going to say, I'm going to make up a question in data here. I'm going to say, what is your favorite school subject? Y-axis would be the number, and the X-axis would be the subject. Title of my graph would be, let's say, school subjects. Then I want to click Enable Questions. Then Next. Sorry, my computer is a... Uh, okay, my computer was a little bit slow, but here we go. Okay, so the next step is to create labels for the chart. Step two. So the labels are the number of options you give people if you are asking a poll. Let's do four different labels. So let's say I asked people the choice I gave were math, reading, social studies, and let's do art. Let's say I had a class of 30 students and 11 of them chose math, 7 chose reading, 6 chose, let's say 8 chose social studies, so that leaves me with 4 who chose art. Then I click create chart. And just like that you see I have on one page all, I have four different charts. If I scroll over them, they're interactive. You see the line graph here. You see the bar graph here and a pie chart here. And this is really great for students to compare how different kinds of graphs show data. Now, what I think is the really coolest part of this is coming up. I don't I could be wrong, but I don't think any other graphing program on the internet for kids asks them questions about their graphs. So, let me show you what I mean. Let's go down to where it says show questions. I can also print these charts so I get a printout on one page of all four of these charts. If I click show questions, I now have to answer questions about my graph. So, how many total people answered? Well, I remember 30. What is the most popular choice? So I could always scroll up to see my graphs, but it's clear that math is the most popular choice. The least popular choice was art. The fourth question asks, how many more people liked math than reading? Let's go up and look. So I had 11 people who liked math, 7 people who liked reading, so that means 4 more people liked math. How many people choose math or reading? Okay, well, 11 plus 7 was 18. How many more people chose social studies than reading? And 8 people chose social studies and 1 person chose reading, so 1 more chose social studies. How many people chose reading or social studies? So reading had 7, social studies had 8, so that's 15. And how many more people chose reading or social studies than math? So for this question, I know that seven people chose reading, eight people chose social studies, that's 15. Eleven people chose math, so 15 minus 11 is four. So four more people chose reading or social studies than math. Let's see how I did. I click Submit to wait a couple seconds here. Like I said, my computer is a little bit slow here today. And I scroll up, and I got all the questions correct. That is how you use Mr. Musbaum's Graph Master.